Trivia time! I'm your host, Sarah Freebus, and we're gearing up for the weekend. For some of us, the long weekend. And there's no better way to kick it off than with some extra cash in your pocket so that you can throw the most outrageous barbecue your block has ever seen. I mean, I am talking slip and slides. I'm talking fireworks, burgers and hot dogs and wings. Oh my! So in just a few moments, we're going to figure out how much we're playing for in this game by spinning the wheel. But first, let's check in with the chat. Who's chilling with me? Where are you all watching from? What are your plans for this fabulous weekend? Who was here for a win yesterday? Let me know who already has the big bucks in their account. Hello, Tech Keon. It's good to see you. Gabs is here. We've got Willis Sean just tuning in. Klexa, RJ Bayan is so excited. I'm excited. Differently Normal says, hey, from the UK. What up, what up? Dav31 is here checking in. Monali, Adel Boss, 61. Hey, y'all. I'm excited, too. This is my favorite way to end the night, start the night, however you want to look at it, right? So let's explain what's going to happen right now. I'm going to spin this wheel to determine our jackpot. As you can see, there's $1,000 slots, $2,500 slots, $5,000 slots, and of course, the question mark slot. Now, if we land on the question mark slot, you will vote to determine the value of the question mark between these four envelopes that I'm holding, and they contain up to $10,000. So let's do this thing. Let's spin the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel and give us a good number. Come on. We need that extra money for the barbecues this weekend. Woo! I'm seeing a question mark. I'm seeing a question mark. I'm seeing a question mark. I'm seeing $2,500, folks. Man, I feel like some quizzing. Do, 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 do. Let's go, folks. All right, I got two more shout outs to Jeremy TR93 and James176. And now, some rules 10 questions will pop up on your screen. So make sure you're holding those phones vertically and you've got a strong internet connection. You'll have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely, because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the $2,500 cash prize. But stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Now, if you get them all right, you win a piece of that prize that we just spun for. And don't forget, we do this every single weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, so there's plenty of chances to win. Aside from that, you also have plenty of opportunities to earn money here on display just by posting. So outside of the trivia, you can make money. We pay creators for their content, so definitely make sure you're getting engaged on this app and posting that original content. Now, let's kick this off with a practice question. Tell me, what's your favorite form of communication? Texting, calling, video chatting. Maybe it's the chat. Maybe you like hanging out in the chat, right? That's pretty fun. Unannounced phone calls of any type should probably be illegal, but particularly FaceTime. Like, is it 100% necessary to communicate at all? Sometimes I see a text, I plan to write back, and then I totally forget. Does anyone else do that? All right, it's looking like, yes, you're with me. You're with me. Texting is the preferred method of communication. Oh, where are we at as a society? Jeez. All right, you guys ready to do this? Good thing that this is on a phone, right? I see a lot of people coming in right now. Welcome, welcome. I'll stall for you. Welcome to trivia. Yes, we're kicking off the weekend with some fabulous prizes. $2,500 to be exact. Das Freddy's just popping in. Daniel 1210, Arjun Krina. J Matt Zazzy, whoo! All right, I waited long enough. I can't do it anymore. So here we go. It's time for question one. Which of the following is a type of pastry typically eaten at breakfast? Crescent, noodle, pot roast. Which of the following is a type of pastry typically eaten at breakfast? Crescent, noodle, pot roast. Hmm, what are we gonna be chowing down on for that most important meal of the day, displaybies? Leftover pizza, anyone? 
Don't tempt me with a good time. The only pizza question more controversial than is pineapple a topping is hot or cold on the second go? I mean, I like it either way, but I can tell this quiz is heating up because 91% of you are snacking on a yummy crescent with your cup of joe. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do Q2. Of the following, what is the name for an implement used to remove individual hairs or small objects? Fork, tweezer, scissor. Of the following, which is the name for an implement used to remove individual hairs or small objects? Fork, tweezer, scissor. This is one of those household items that lives in the junk drawer with um, the loose rubber bands and matchboxes. Anyone need an old Chinese takeout menu? Oh no, you need to remove a splinter. I guess we should go spend 50 bucks at Target then because these things are never handy when you need them. But 96% of you answered this in a pinch with those tweezers. Everyone looking nice and plucky. We're moving into question three. Which monosyllabic body part completes this basic game? Tic-tac thumb, tic-tac heart, tic-tac toe. Which monosyllabic body part completes this basic game? Tic-tac thumb, tic-tac heart, tic-tac toe. We are looking for the name of the game here. Also looking for some plain old tic-tacs because uh, the press situation, it's complicated. Monosyllabic is a fancy way to say hard to misspell, but believe me, it can be done. But come on now, it's Q3. Time to get three in a row with tic-tac-toe. X's and O's to 97% of the displayers. Moving on to question four. Which of the following is not the capital of its home country? Ottawa, Istanbul, New Delhi. Which of the following is not the capital of its home country? Ottawa, Istanbul, New Delhi. Which of these is not a capital? Which of these is not a capital? Can you tell that I'm speaking in all capitals right now? <laughs> I am. That's why my eyes are so wide and I'm yelling. Ever go to type a flirtatious message and you realize the caps lock is on? Ooh, huge buzz kill. But no killing the buzz yet. I mean, maybe I killed yours. Sorry for yelling. 86% of you going all Nat Geo on me. Istanbul, though, one of the most famous and highly populated cities in Turkey, is not the seat of this Middle Eastern nation's government. You got it. And now it's time for question five. All of the following are synonyms for sickness except affliction, amenity, malady. All of the following are synonyms for sickness except affliction, amenity, malady. Speaking of sickness, so far the gameplay we're seeing tonight, I mean, it's ill. It is coming down with something. Oh, it absolutely should stay home from work today and cuddle up in bed with some hot soup and daytime TV. Some Mari Povich, anybody? You are not the father, but 91% of you are absolutely killing it right now. I'm infected by this enthusiasm you're showing. Let's move on to question six. Jambalaya is a dish from the same state as what famous person? Louis Armstrong, Ray Charles, Ella Fitzgerald. Jambalaya is a dish from the same state as what famous person? Louis Armstrong, Ray Charles, Ella Fitzgerald. This dish also goes by names like jumbled, which is not how I want you to all feel answering this question about food and famous singers. The best recipe is keep it simple. So, you know, do the same with this quiz. Speaking of simple recipes, I make a killer craft mac and cheese. Mm. DM me for the recipe or, you know, just read it off the side of the box. 91% of you are cooking up something in this quiz because Louis Armstrong is also from Louisiana. That's right. Time for Q7. The transfer of heat from the flow of a lava lamp is known as what? Conduction, convection, radiation. The transfer of heat in the flow of a lava lamp is known as what? Conduction, convection, radiation. Looks like things are really heating up in this quiz. I think it's time for lava lamps to make a comeback. I mean, not that they ever went away. They go so well with my shag carpets, my 
floor-to-ceiling wallpaper that matches the curtains and the couch. Did you all hear about Watergate? Were they ever um, convicted for that? Convicted, oh, oh gosh, I just gave away the answer, but 53% of you didn't even need that little hint. Some of you could have used it. Let's get groovy, baby, in question eight. Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. was the birth name of a notable figure in what discipline? Music, sports, art. Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. was the birth name of a notable figure in what discipline? Music, sports, art. This person eventually changed their name. I guess when you become the best at what you do, you want something a little shorter to sign on all those checks and autographs. But for real, this person actually changed their name for religious and political reasons. Yet yeah, this dude stuck to his convictions and it paid off. He was known as the greatest. The greatest of what? Muhammad Ali, the goat of boxing is the answer. And 91% of you trivia goats got it. Don't tap out yet, it's time for question nine. All of the following rivers flow into this body of water historically known as the Champa Sea, except Pasig, Yangtze, Mekong. All of the following rivers flow into this body of water historically known as the Champa Sea, except Pasig, Yangtze, Mekong. Don't go chasing waterfalls, just stick to the rivers and the lakes that you to. I'm not used to any of these rivers, but thanks TLC, it's still sage advice. Guess it's time to make like Maria Von Trapp and ford every stream, which are basically tinier rivers, because we have got to figure this out. The Champa Sea in modern English speaking nations tends to go by none other than the South China Sea and all of these rivers empty into it except the Yangtze, which empties into the East China Sea. 61% of you are seeing results and you're moving on to the final question of the night. Let's do it. All of the following are yoga poses based on animals kept as livestock except Ustrasana, Padmasana, Vitalasana. All of the following are yoga poses based on animals kept as livestock except Ustrasana, Padmasana, Vitalasana. All right, you posers. Let's see if you can whip one out. Whip one more right answer out. <laughs> Y'all, we are gonna need some yoga after this long week. I mean, I suck at yoga, so you do yoga and namaste right here and watch with my chubby hubby. Not a person, the ice cream. Did I take that joke too far? Was that a bit of a stretch? Whew, inhale, exhale, displaybees. 71% of you flexing away on this one. Padmasana is the lotus pose, while the other two are camel and cow, respectively. Whoo, you came, you played, you displayed your knowledge, and you slayed. So, yeah, let's get you paid. We'll be back Tuesday night, Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, plus every weeknight from here on out. In fact, if you tune in 30 minutes early at 7.30 Eastern, you can actually catch today on display where I sit down with other incredible creatives and chat. Next week, we've got Evie Siskos and Anna Roisman to kick us off. I'm sorry, do I hear